what those two things have to do with each other. Well, the common denominator is spark plugs. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the spark plug gap and how the end result is that coming out the tailpipe, that nasty noise. And what does the cylinder have effect on it? Why is that cylinder piston? What does it do? Well, like I said, I'm going to describe it to you and give you a quick little lesson on it. Don't forget, if you need any parts for your car, including tune-up stuff, we have tons of them at 1AAuto.com. So I have a half of a boxer engine here. And you might say, what's a boxer engine? Well, it's a Subaru engine. Subaru is like the most notorious boxer engine there is out there. And I have half of it here for you so I can take it apart and show you what's going on. Spark plugs. How can they affect the tailpipe and what's happening at the end? Well, simple as the gap. If your spark plugs worn out, which takes a lot nowadays, because if you have iridium or, or platinum spark plugs, they go for about 100, 120K. Well, as you know, as I know, nowadays, that's sometimes only three or four years into owning the car. And before, we used to have tons of maintenance programs. Oh, you have to do spark plugs every 30,000 miles. Well, they're getting better, so it's not as drastic. But, you know, around 100 and 120K, you might not be thinking about spark plugs because you just get in that car and drive it every day. But if you just pay attention just for a smidge, look at that gas mileage, because I know you're checking it nowadays with gas mileage. You're checking your miles per gallon and that little digit thing that tells you how much you get per tank full. If you've noticed that's gone down just a hair, maybe even three miles per tank, per, you know, full. You go, oh, I used to get 20, 22 miles to the gallon if you have a V6 or a V8. And you're like, hmm, I'm down to 17, 15. What is going on? No engine light. I want you to turn your radio off. Really listen and feel your car. And maybe get out and listen to the tailpipe if it's idling. You might hear a little just a slight skip. Not enough to set an engine light yet because some cars have up to 5,000 skips before they set that engine light. Yeah, I know. But I want you to check to see the mileage and say, maybe I need spark plugs. Wouldn't hurt to do them if you're up there at that 100, 120K. And why would the gap affect that? Well, because each manufacturer's spark plugs are set up for the actual voltage that that coil has for each cylinder. So if that gap is too wide, the ignition coil Eh, the spark is weak. You're going to end up with more fuel left in the cylinder. It doesn't burn as fast. So you're going to have detonation knocking, which you're going to hear. You're also going to lose gas mileage because it's wasted. It's going right out your tailpipe. You could end up with clogged converters. There's a miserable amount of things that you can end up with just because you didn't check your spark plugs or check the gap on them. So I'm going to put these spark plugs back in, and uh, I'm going to take this apart and give you a visual of what you see, what's going on inside that you don't usually see. So I just want to run this down real quick for you. This is a cylinder. This is the piston. And here are your valves. You actually have intake valves and exhaust valves. And that's where that little bugger sits. That's the spark plug right there. So real quick, fuel from the fuel injectors come in, comes in through the intake ports. So the valve opens, fuel gets dumped, fills this cylinder up. Doesn't fill it up like, like a cup of water. It actually just sprays in there like a shower mist. And the piston goes down, and as it compresses, puts compression in there and then the ignition right here the coil says oh fire that spark plug and as that piston's coming up it fires a spark plug boom the fuel lights on fire and it pushes that piston right down into that cylinder back down pushes the crank spins it which gives you power to your wheels that's as basic as you can get and then the exhaust valves open up and let the smoke out the tailpipe if you have a misfire because your spark plugs are gapped wrong or they're worn and you have a misfire it's going to come out every time that exhaust valve opens up and comes out through this exhaust port, goes out the tailpipe, you're going to hear a pop up, pop up, pop up because it's misfiring. It's like a little skip, like a record happening inside here and through this little port, and it's going to come right out that exhaust. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that sweet little video that I just made for you about spark plug gap and how it affects your gas mileage. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell because it turns on all your notifications so you won't miss any future fun little videos. And don't forget to check out 180.com where you can find all your car and truck part needs. Thanks for watching.